commit once again all the kids of WCC and your mighty hands lord be with them in everything that they do and let them uh, grow and uh, work for your kingdom father lord jesus once again thank and praise you for everything lord in jesus name i ask and pray amen amen yeah. so before we start with the testimony we will have ajitra sharing few words with him share the testimony. Praise the Lord Church. Greetings to all of you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity that God has given us this morning. October month is celebrated as the Clergy Appreciation Month. And today uh, we would like to take this opportunity to appreciate our dear pastor. Uh, and uh, I am representing the entire WCC. That's why I consider this as my privilege. right from the uh, small child to the eldest person um vagis uncle and uh, so pastor uh, there are people those who have expressed their views uh, through whatsapp messages uh, to me uh, sub, uh, separately and uh, i'm just sharing the views which uh, the uh, the entire con- the congregation some of them have responded soon some of them are yet to respond but i'm sure all of them uh, I agree with what I'm sharing here. Shepherding is a most one of the most challenging role is what I believe. Even when we shepherd an organization a corporate world we know how difficult it is for us to manage people how tough it is to get everybody aligned in there and focus on things which we are supposed to deliver. So imagine church like WCC where we have people those who are new to faith and we have people those who are expert or rather they are doctrinally much advanced so we have WCC is a representation of people from all spe- spectrum right from learning somebody who's learning to somebody who's an expert so in the midst of this challenge shepherding WCC church i believe is most difficult Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 2 my sheep listens to my voice i know them and they follow me underline the word i know them jesus christ is saying that i know them here our pastor nibu knows us this is the most common feedback which i have received that my pastor knows me and my need there are testimonies where people have mentioned that whenever there was a need when there was a crisis in the family when there was sickness when there was depression job loss pastor came to our place we didn't we never called him we never told this to anyone but surprisingly we saw him at our place when we were at the most dire need in that situation God led pastor to our place pastor we thank you that was those moments and those time are really really seen as a great blessing for those families and those individuals those who experienced your presence and for your prayer humility in serving god and serving and accepting suggestions from leadership is another quality which our pastor has displayed and also sharing his thoughts very gently humility to talk to an youngster to an elder one and to accept the accept the suggestions we have done we have tried to improve our uh, the entire process of our church in all aspect and whatever we shared in the past has been very well accepted by the by dear pastor and we could see the impact of that his hard work in preparation of sermon and his preaching the amount of time he must be inv- investing in prepare, prepare preparing for this sermon really appreciate that investment which he has done has really resulted in uh, uh resulted in the fruits in our life the current sermon which he is talking about the family many of them have told me personally that normally we hear this when during marriages it's the time when 
pastor talks about husbands and wives role and how they are they are supposed to manage a family and we could hear this is the probably first time we are hearing this particular topic on a sunday sermon and many and i'm sure this sermon has really helped us as a, as wcc those who are in family or those who are getting going to get married a great help and a benefit uh, to talk about this subject pastor really appreciate you for taking this commitment to learn also and to teach others you spent hours and hours in reading books reading going to browsing through internet browsing to learn new things which is happening outside the world we could see that while talking to you continue to invest your time in the lives of young people by learning and then imparting the same learnings to others we know that pastor's life has been very difficult when he came here now it's exactly 2 years and 5 months that he's serving diligently wcc as a pastor when he initially came in we all know how he met with sickness accidents all the trouble which dear sis, uh, sister went through sisley uh, went through of right from conception even till date in the midst of all these he never showed any sadness or any any anything which could display that he is not he is suffering or he is having he is going through pain he is always come with smile and joy on his face thank god so it's our responsibility that when he represent us before god devil is not hap- happy satan is behind him so it is our responsibility as believers of wcc those who uh, love him that we must cover him in our daily prayer it's it it must be our commitment it's our obligation it's our duty that we must remember him and his family while we pray because he is the one who is taking the brunt of all what wcc is going is uh, god is blessing us he is taking the the pain and suffering so it's our responsibility that we must pray we must visit him whenever he is available take time and go and spend time recently me and my family we went and spent couple of hours just praying and it was really a blessed time for us we must if we can't visit at least call him and find out how is he doing that's our responsibility as church that we must care and we must love him pastor with this i could say that as a pastor of our church we really are thankful from the bottom of our heart and we really are proud of how god has molded you from day 1 till date and you have a long long way to go and i'm sure god is going to anoint you bless you and as a family you will be most fruitful in his vineyard that's our prayer shall we all rise up and let's pray together father we thank you lord we humbly submit our pastor dear sister both the children in your hands lord lord you have given us a wonderful person a wonderful teacher a person who loves us who knows us and we want to thank you for what you have done for us individually and as a church as wcc lord lord we thank you for keeping him safe thus far and thank you for the promises that you have lord that you will bless those who know those who walk according to your ways lord we as a church we thank you for his his life and his commitment to serve you we thank you for his family lord continue to use him bless him let him be a great blessing for every one of us not only for us as individual but every person who interacts with him every individual every family may be blessed by him lord lord thank you for making him a vessel an instrument for us as a blessing lord lord as a church we bless him in the name of father son and the holy spirit we pray lord that lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace we thank you lord for for the commitment that he has to serve you lord continue to bless him and and keep him safe and and use him as a good instrument in the days to come thank you for hearing our prayers we ask all this in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen thank you
Thank you. Thanks a lot, Church, for the love and for the support. It means a lot for us. Thank you very much. I didn't know that, okay, Saichan actually wanted to share this. Saichan, we love you words to share. I didn't know this is what you wanted to share. Thank you very much, Saichan, for the time that you've taken. Thank you very much for all the elders. By the way, I wanted to thank elders, not just the core team, uh, who's really helping me uh, in my uh, in my entire process of being a pastor. Uh, I believe I'm a quite a young guy doing this, but it's, uh, it's a blessing of elders always needed. I strongly believe that and I pray that we'll have